Hey there, it's Amanda here. A bit of an unusual topic today. <laughs> this thought came to me this morning about how differently people think, organized people versus not organized. And uh, I just want to talk about that because next week I'm running a workshop and it's all about being simply organized. And I realize, and I talk about this all the time, the fact that I live a simply organized life, but I'm not a naturally organized person. And I found myself this morning kind of looking at my daughter in awe. <laughs> I knocked on her bedroom door, it was just before school, and um, I opened the door and her room is just immaculate. And it blows my mind every time I see it <laughs> because I don't ask her to do this. I mean, I, I'd like a tidy bed. I don't ask too much of my kids, but her room is always immaculate. The pillows on her bed are always beautifully displayed. And I just found myself in awe of it and going, you know, she was born naturally organized. I am not. And as a mother, and as a person who teaches home organizing skills for a living, I find it fascinating how, how different our personalities are and how differently we can organize. Now, for organized people, it's so natural to them, they feel, from what I can tell, really kind of inspired and have this need to do these things because it makes their world feel comfortable, I guess. For me, that's not the case. A simply organized life is about making my life easier, about having more time to do the fun things. And the mess doesn't bother me. <laughs> I mean, it gets cleaned up at the end of the day, but I don't fuss about things. And I certainly don't stress about it if it doesn't get done on time. And that's what I've just noticed, I guess, over the years when I've kind of gone into this, this work, knowing that I'm not naturally organized and that my take on being organized is very different. I've looked at people and gone, the ones that are organized. And I guess I've looked at it and thought, I used to think, I wish I was that organized. I don't do that anymore <laughs> because I actually think it's much better to be a little bit disorganized and yet have these simple skills for living a simply organized life because you get to enjoy both sides of the world. You don't have those, oh, I feel uncomfortable because the cushions aren't tidy, doesn't happen to me. Um, I can't sleep because the kitchen's a mess, doesn't happen to me. <laughs> and I live with organized people so I know that it does, it frustrates them. But when you live a simply organized life, you know that within a couple of minutes it can all get sorted that it's not easy to pick up and get on with things if it does get out of control. And there's a joy in that. It's like you can be far more cruisy with life and then just have those simple principles to follow to get back on track rather than feeling overwhelmed and obsessed by the need to have everything tidy all the time, which can be a little bit unhealthy at times. And I've witnessed this in my family. I can see these personalities who have to do these things, otherwise it drives them mad or they get a little bit anxious. I don't have those tendencies, so I'm very grateful for that. And so when I'm looking at my daughter's room this morning, I mean, I'm so blessed to have such a tidy young girl. But at the same time, I'm looking at it and going, okay, we don't need to be obsessive about this. And I try to bring that back a little bit and give, kind of get her to see that there's more joy in life than just having everything tidy all the time. It's hard work working with, living with someone who's so organized. Now, my other two children are not that way at all. They're very much like me. And I don't mind the mess. I mean, as long as we tidy up, <laughs> it doesn't take long, it, that's all okay. What isn't okay is when we get anxious and upset when things aren't perfect all the time because what is perfection anyway? So there, yeah, what do I see when I look at organized people? I think sometimes it's like a little bit uptightness and there can be anxiety connected with that as well. And so although I work with a lot of clients who struggle with the mess and keeping things tidy, I also talk to organized people and talk about how to simplify the way they're doing things so that their life can be easier too because we can all live this organized life if we keep it simple. And that's exactly what my workshop's about next week. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm teaching simple decluttering skills. In the kitchen, we're focusing it in the kitchen, but they are principles that can be taken right through the home to make life easier for everyone. Because it's not about me, it's about the whole family. The house has to function perfectly for everyone. Otherwise, not perfectly, I shouldn't have said that. The house wants to function effortlessly for the family. So it doesn't take effort to get these things done. And we don't resent it, we just get on with it. <laughs> So yeah, that's my take on today. What I see when I look at organized people, it's not a wish anymore. Um, I can actually see I'd rather have my creative messy side and have a little bit of simple organizing on the side to keep things on track and, uh, and balanced is what it's all about. So oh, hello Belinda, <laughs> good to see you. Um, yeah, I don't know, now I've lost track. So yeah, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll pop the details of my workshop for next week in the, the, detail, um, the comments below. And yeah, if you've got a take on what you think you're organizing is, pop that in the comments as well. Or if you are a very organized person, give me a star in the comments, <laughs> if you're brave enough. Um, yeah, that's my take on 
simple home organizing. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.